Hello, good sir. Hello, dear boy. <laughs> Jojo Rabbit is literally my favorite movie of the year, hands down. Put those hands down put there. Them there. Put them oh. there. It is time for our Movies and Matthew question of the week, which comes in from a super fan okay. who happens to be a very, very good friend of mine. So go easy. Okay. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This is my. My beloved. Oh. Here's the big question. You speak with a German accent in the movie. Could you, in your best German accent, no pressure, tell everyone in the world why they should go see Jojo Rabbit? I, I called in a favor oh for God. today's interview. Oh my yes. God. That's amazing. <laughs> it, it helps when That's a good amazeballs. friend. <laughs> well, I think we should see this because it's a lot of. Uh, kind of says shits and giggles. <laughs> shits and giggles. <laughs> and it's very moving, yes. <laughs> and we can't, you know what, I got to say, have some popcorn and <laughs> some Coca-Cola. It's so, you <laughs> know. Maybe we cry a little. It is important, you know, the relevant message of nowadays to these kind of movies, you know, you have to make sure they're still being made. Yes. 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 Thank yes. you, Finkel. Like, thank you, Finkel. Thank you, Cat and Kay. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do my uh, own German accent, it was dubbed by a German accent, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I kind it's of fed enough. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about Roman? He is so phenomenal in this movie, and literally I have to know about his audition. Where are you going? You want to do that? Okay. I don't think I can do this. Russ? Of course you can. You were totally comfortable. You know, yes. for any a, a kid just kind of that was plucked out of nowhere, yeah. it maybe would have been really overwhelming. He came in and I met him and he was wearing like a denim jacket with ta like tassels. I think that's when I thought he might be the one. I was going to wear yeah, it. Double today, denim, so double denim, <laughs> double denim, with a denim jacket with tassels. It was like old hat. Yeah. Old hat. Got and, it. It was, and it was called, it did really teach me a lot and I felt, and before I did feel nervous and I felt like, who's going to <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! I try and cast kids that are as close as possible to the character of Ryan. Yeah. He had the emotional connection and maturity <laughs> that this kind of role needs from you know, a ten year old. You know what I am? Sid. A Jew. Gesundheit. Scarlett, what do you hope one of the theme's audience members take away from this, this movie? One of the most powerful relationships in this film is between these two characters, um, you know, they both enter the relationship with a lot of fear and, you know, based on real stuff. And then through this shared experience of being actually two young people who probably are scared of the world around them and in this kind of imaginary play, they actually, they find the connective tissue between them, the humanity. It's through that likeness that they're able to overcome their differences. And I think that's a really, really powerful message, especially when you see it, you know, with, with young people. Answer ever was that? I mean, that was that was pretty good. They call me a scared rabbit. Let them say whatever they want. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. Oh, look at that psycho. He's gonna get us all killed. Really quick before they tackle me. Um, dance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, dance. You leave him alone. Thank you. Dance has its moment in this movie. Can we end this interview on your go-to dance move? Well, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna do something better. I've, I've invented the uh, real, the live action boomerang. But it's gotta be something like where you like we're going to talk to someone where you go. Now do the beat. Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Bunny Hop. Jojo Rabbit. 